<laughs> I'm gonna tell you something guys I don't even know how to open up this video properly like I've tried to reshoot the intro a dozen times I am so fucking baffled by what I had just come across. Let's just get into it. So this right here revolves around one Quantum TV, and for those of you guys that don't know who this individual is, I will link you guys to some videos in the description down below. I don't want to pad this video out with a big ass history lesson on this piece of garbage human being. So basically, to give you guys the short and skinny of it, the guy has been proven to be a bigot a copyright abuser, a harasser, someone who has slandered people, and gone after people legally when he had absolutely no right nor position to do so. Now, one of the most notable feuds when it comes to the Quantum TV would be his feud with the Act Man, and we have ourselves a recent update from the Act Man himself. I will link that video in the description down below as well. But basically, long story short, the Act Man goes into really, really big details about how YouTube actually sides with Quantum TV, despite everything that he was exposed on with proof, with indisputable evidence. YouTube had a big herpy derpy derp kind of moment and sided with the wrong person. So let's dive into this. We have ourselves the act man tweeting out, the verdict on Quantum TV is in. It's a dark day for YouTube. New video drops tomorrow. The ace attorney wins every case and attached to the tweet is an image where it showcases an email that the act man has got and it reads and I quote, Hi, Act Man. I understand the urgency and appreciate your patience while our specialist team conducted a thorough review of the content you shared with us. After thoroughly reviewing the additional YouTube links you sent to us, our specialist team did not find any violations of our community guidelines. That right there just already blows my fucking mind having to read that shit out loud. But oh no, ladies and gentlemen, it gets worse. Regarding your claims of abusive takedown requests, I can also confirm our copyright team reviewed all the details you provided and determined that there were no violations. The copyright submissions made by the other creator were valid, and though they may have been rejected, they were considered a fair request for review. In line with our copyright policy, whenever a copyright submission is accepted, we give the affected party a chance to submit a counter notification. Okay, I think I might need to run to the pharmacy here real quick to get myself some goddamn ibuprofen because this right here has already given me a goddamn migraine. Like, are you absolutely serious, YouTube? There is so much out there when it comes to concrete indisputable evidence that even a five-year-old can decipher and understand and put two plus two together. But it seems like YouTube don't even have the capacity to do that. Let's keep going with this. I understand if this is not the outcome you were looking for, but I want to reiterate that our specialist team investigated the claims that you shared and our decision stands. If you would like to schedule a phone call to share additional feedback about your experience on YouTube, then please let me know, but note that our phone call discussion will not change our decision as outlined above. Specialist team. You mentioned the word specialist a few times here. What do you specialize in exactly? Fucking up some of the most cut and dry cases ever? Being stupid? I mean, here's the thing, you don't exactly specialize in anything positive here, and this right here shows yet again for like the 1000th time that this is a case where your systems are very flawed and very easily exploitable by even the most evil and twisted people such as Quantum TV who has been exposed for many many things and yet you side with him and you don't do anything about it when it comes to fixing your crappy and flawed systems. 
Jesus fucking Christ, man. Now, there's actually another image that is attached to the same tweet, and this is what is stated here. I can confirm that after conducting what they say was a thorough investigation, YouTube has found Quantum TV 100% innocent of all charges, and they will take no action against him. By making this decision, YouTube is effectively saying that abuse of the copyright ID tool and DMCA takedowns will never be punished, no matter how extensive. Copyright strikes are apparently a weapon anybody can use against other creators to threaten their channels and their livelihood. You will face no repercussions for committing perjury and filing fraudulent claims meant to harass others. They were unwilling to investigate anything that is not a currently active YouTube link. Even if the evidence has been archived on the Wayback Machine. To me, this means you can break any and all of YouTube's community guidelines so long as you delete the evidence before they can investigate. YouTube has taken the stance that hate speech and wishing death on protected communities is perfectly fine so long as you delete the evidence. Their policies on external links is null and void, and you can link your audience to whatever hate speech you wish. Before we continue on with that, this right here is just absolutely fucking disgusting, and it's pretty damn accurate when it comes to what is being represented here in this situation with YouTube siding with Quantum TV. Ridiculous. But let's keep going. They're also perfectly fine with content dedicated towards harassing children slash minors that exist on the platform. I'm ecstatic to learn how much advertisers love to appear on videos of content creators harassing children and threatening them with bogus lawsuits, especially if those videos fall within fair use. YouTube is also taking the stance that there is nothing wrong with doxing other content creators, families, revealing the method by which you doxed them, and making veiled threats of violence and direct threats of legal action against other YouTubers' families. That type of content is not only perfectly fine, but also fully monetizable. Quantum TV's videos threatening my mother are still up and fully monetized. YouTube, Quantum TV has objectively violated countless rules slash guidelines slash TOS and therefore needs to be removed from the platform permanently. There is no debate, there is only your complacence and inaction. He has harassed other content creators on the platform for the last four years, and he will continue to do so until you do something about it. YouTube has failed to enforce the following community guidelines in this case. External links, hate speech, cyberbullying and harassment, additional policies like ban evasion, copyright abuse, harmful or dangerous content policies, child safety policy, spam, deceptive practices, and scam policies. This is the dark age of YouTube. I don't think there's anything more that needs to be said or added on, just holy fucking shit. This absolutely disappoints me and disgusts me beyond any type of describable degree. Like, my god. I guess you could honestly really say that this is truly the dark age of YouTube, because YouTube clearly, plain as day, is allowing for degeneracy to reign supreme on their platform where the victims are being punished. That right there sounds very similar to the justice system in various countries, if you catch my drift. I mean, it shouldn't surprise me. I mean, depending on YouTube to do the right thing is like depending on an elephant to grow wings and fly across Canada. This right here is just beyond disappointing. It doesn't surprise me, but it also doesn't take away the amount of disappointment, the amount of disgust, the amount of bullshit that this all is. Like, oh my god. Now before I finish this video, I want to refer you guys to this video by the Act Man, and this is a very, very important and very detailed video. It's almost an hour long, and he goes over a lot of stuff in great depth. 
I highly recommend that you not only watch the video, which will be linked in the description down below, but what you see on the screen right here, I recommend that you guys not only like his tweet with the video, but also retweet it, promote it, share it, everywhere you can. And one final thing before I close out this video, this right here is dedicated to all of the cancel culture marks out there that would try to label videos like these as canceling someone. No, there's a difference between outright canceling someone and holding somebody accountable. What you see right here is the latter plain and simple. It's going to be real interesting to see what develops from here, ladies and gentlemen, and should anything of interest develop, I will keep you guys informed. But for right now, that's it for the video. I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. Do give this video a share and a like as well. Share this on every single platform you have access to. It would very much be appreciated. And do the same thing for multiple videos on this subject as well. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you for your time as well and viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, people. I'll see you next time.